Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet. My name is Margos and today we're going to be comparing the uh, Triple Lot Design Axiom 24 bag and the GORUCK GR1 21 liter. So let's get right into it. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because someone actually left me a comment and they were asking which one do I actually prefer, the uh, GORUCK GR1 or the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24? And it really made me think these are really similar bags, at least in price point, the um, uh, Triple Lot Design Axiom 24 being $365 and the GORUCK GR1 being $325. And I feel like they're serving a very similar market, being the uh, bag enthusiast and carry enthusiast community, or people who um, have really high demands for the gear that they take with them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and compare them, shall we? All right, so one of the first things I wanna talk about is what it's actually like to use these bags from more of a qualitative standpoint. Instead of measuring you know, the liters and the, the different pockets and stuff, maybe talking more about what it's actually like for a real person to use them. So I've been using the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24 for like maybe like eight months now. Um, the GORUCK GR1 I've probably been using for about four months, I'm not quite sure. Um, so I've been, I've had like quite a few, quite a bit of time with both of these bags. And in general, I'm going to say that if I want something very versatile that can adapt to whatever I want it to, I'm going to go with the GR1. That's because it's just going to be a completely open clamshell opening with not much organization, right? Now, if I'm going to want to go for let's say um, an office trip or, or if I'm going to the office or if I want something a little bit more organized as like a day pack, then I would most likely go for the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24. The reason why is because it has a lot more compartments for organization um, and, and storage and stuff like that. So with the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24, if you don't already know, we've got this front admin compartment with a drop down mesh compartment that can zip down or zip up. We've got these slip pockets with pen holders and stuff like that. I use, I put some pens and my Apple Pencil in here. And you've got a tablet sleeve that has fit my 11.5 um, inch MacBook Pro, or 11.5 inch um, iPad Pro. So this is gonna be great if you like a little bit more organization or you want a little bit more compartments to compartmentalize things, right? So since the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24 is a little bit more complex in its pockets, let's go and walk through that real quick. So I just showed you the admin compartment. Another cool thing about this bag is there's actually going to be this hidden pocket in the bottom. And pretty much it goes under here and it can be accessed from the inside of the bag. So you can put your hand up here and then there's also a pocket on the inside right here and you can pretty much throw in like a jacket or maybe something you just want quick access to in that pocket. Super innovative, I never use it, but it might be helpful for you. And the cool thing is it doesn't take up any space. So there you go. So both of these bags are gonna be a clamshell opening. Um, I will say, I think I get better access on the GR1 just because it's using Cordura instead of like VX21 fabric. And like there's a whole admin compartment on the front here. While the GR GR1, the GR1 is way simpler. It's only just a flap of fabric. So it makes sense that it would be easier to kind of access the um, the GR1. So um, you, that's kind of like a trade off for the organization. The inside is, even though this is a 24 liter bag, the inside is going to be a lot less spacious as the GR1 21 liter, in my opinion. And let's go ahead and open this up so you can kind of see. Currently I'm using the GR1, um, GR1 21 liter. And you kind of just get so much more space <laughs> in, the in the GR1 than you do in the Axiom 24. Um, so even though this is kind of bigger, um, just keep in mind that just because something's bigger on paper, that, mi that might not like take into account all of the pockets that eat into the main capacity and things like that. So this is all you're gonna get. Um, you've got some attachment points here that are like Hypalon, but other than that, it's super simple. Um, I personally, here, let's continue. We're gonna talk about the water bottle pockets. So as you can see here, there are these two things that eat into the main capacity and those are gonna be the water bottle pockets. Now, you don't have to put water bottles in them. You can put an umbrella, you can put like a pencil pouch, you can put whatever. But for me, 
I personally don't really like it too much just because it takes up so much valuable space in the inside of the um, in the inside of the bag um, and yeah I guess like I don't know I, I personally would rather have the bag without these side pockets just so it opens up the main capacity a bit more but that's just my opinion so in these um, in these side pockets I can say I can probably fit like a all right, so this is a 32 ounce bottle. Um, and as you can see, it just takes up a, a ridiculous amount inside. It's just, in my opinion, it's not worth it. You shouldn't carry like a super large water bottle, a water bottle in that pocket. Um, but that's just, that's just me. It's totally up to you. Um, but one thing that has really kind of changed my, or hindered my, um, my uh, experience with the Axiom 24 is going to be those water bottle pockets. They just take up space on the inside of the compart um, inside of the main capacity, and if they're not being used, they still kind of just like they take up space. Not really a fan of them. So that's going to be the the water bottle pockets. Um, now on the GR1, since this is a comparison, you actually don't have water bottle pockets, which for me. I'm starting to learn is fine. I know for a lot of people that's a deal breaker. Totally understand. I used to be that way too. But once I've started like getting like better water bottles that I'm not really worried that are going to spill in my bag, I'm like, it's fine. I don't need water bottle pockets. So that may be a key decision factor for you. Like, do you need those water bottle pockets or are you fine with having the GR1 that doesn't have one? Personally, for me, I prefer the GR1 setup because it just saves space. Yeah, it would be ideal if I could get a water bottle pocket on the side, but this is a comparison video and both of these bags don't have water bottle pockets on the outside. So, just so you know. So, that's kind of touching on the water bottle pocket situation um, and kind of like the main capacity. So, in summary, so far, main capacity I prefer on the GR1 because it's larger, more spacious. The water bottle pockets on the Triple Out Design Axiom 24 take up space on the inside, and I don't really prefer them anyways. They're kind of cumbersome sometimes. Um, so that's that. So when we're talking about quick access, um, a lot of people are going to tell you this. The quick access compartment on the GR1 is not great. Um, what I've designated the quick access pocket to is now I actually sold my iPad because um, I'm thinking of buying an iPad mini. But what I would do is I would put my iPad, my um, iPad Pro in this slip pocket right here. That is like the perfect use for it. Or you can put a notebook. Anything else sucks because it's just too, it's too tight and it's too like deep, I guess. Um, so I really don't quite like the quick access on the GR1. There is a solution though. And the way that you can do that is you can just zip this up and let's say you're sitting down with your um, with your backpack like by your leg or whatever if it's by your office desk whatever it is you can just keep the top open and use this top flap that's on the inside as your quick access it's not ideal but it is a it's a solution and that's kind of what you get when you're going with a more simple bag um, so it's a little bit more it's a, it's a little bit of a trade-off but it's just something to consider however the um, Triple Lot Design Axiom 24 does have a quick access pocket. And that quick access pocket, or my bad, has a viable quick, quick access pocket. And that's gonna be right here. So this, honestly, is a really good quick access compartment. Um, it doesn't really stretch much and there's not much depth to it, but it works perfectly fine if you just wanna throw your like headphones or something in there. I usually just keep my AirTag in there. Um, but you can throw whatever. Um, I will say there is no sort of um, like felt or wool or anything to keep it like uh, keep your stuff padded. So just be careful when you're um, throwing stuff in here because there's no like padding. There's no um, nothing to kind of cushion your gear. So that's that. All right, now let's talk about the laptop compartments. So it's kind of funny because the Axiom 24 I thought I was gonna like, but I didn't. And the GR1, I thought I wasn't going to like, but I actually love it. Let me explain. So let's talk about the thing that I don't quite like first, and that's going to be the Axiom 24's laptop compartment. It's not bad, and there's actually a cool feature. So there are actually two um, laptop compartments. Now, 
I said this in my review, I would not put two laptops in there. It's really for ambidextrous access. So if you wanna have your laptop on your left side or your right side, you can choose. But I wouldn't put two things in each of those, or I wouldn't put something in each of those pockets unless it's super flat, like a folder or something like that. So the problem with the Axiom 24 is going to be that in or if you have a larger 16 inch laptop, if you're gonna to wanna to take your laptop out of this pocket, what you're gonna to have to end up doing is you're going to have to flip over the strap right here. The reason you have to flip over the strap is because this piece right here is going to end up blocking you from taking out your laptop. Now, if you kind of finagle it a bit, you can figure it out without having to do that. But again, that's gonna take up time. For me, the most efficient thing that I found is pulling back that, um, that um, the strap so you can take out the laptop. Now, with the GR1, it's actually something similar, okay? So the GR1, let me close this up. So the GR1 has a, a similar laptop compartment in that you have to kind of move the strap, but I actually like it better. It's kind of weird. So I think for me, it's all about access. So the GR1 is similar in that in order to, um, in order to access your laptop compartment, you have to flip these back and then you can kind of access it from here. So if I want to unzip it, I kind of have to do that and then flip these over and then boom, I can access my laptop compartment. So why do I like this more than the, um, the Axiom 24? I think the reason why is because since it's vertical, it's so much easier to take the laptop in and take, uh, put the laptop back, my bad, take the laptop out and put the back laptop back in. Um, with the uh, 24, with the Axiom 24, you just kind of have to flip things and then you have to like, it's, it's a lot more work and you're kind of fighting against gravity when this way you just take it out. So much easier in my opinion. Um, it also slides in and out a lot easier. That's just something that I've noticed. Um, but yeah, I actually really like the laptop compartment on the GR1, um, something that I didn't quite think I would. All right, so we talked about what it's like to use kind of just from a you know, daily perspective, not really talking about the specs. Let's actually talk about the specs now. So both of these bags are going to be a clamshell uh, bag. So in my opinion, as I said earlier, the GR1 is easier to kind of access. It's just more open, but that's nothing really against the um, Axiom 24. It's just that the GR1 is so simple that there's not much, there's not many compartments that are getting in the way. When on the Axiom 24, you quite literally have this whole admin panel and also the secret pocket that's kind of adding mass and just making it a little harder to kind of get in and out of capacity. So as the name implies, the Axiom 24 has 24 liters of capacity, while the GR1 has 21 liters of capacity. Now keep in mind that that's just on paper. In reality, what I've found is that the GR1 is a lot more spacious because of its simplicity. Um, so for example, uh, if you didn't see my recent video on packing with the GR1, I actually took this traveling. I would never think about taking the Axiom 24 um, traveling, simply because it's just too tight and too restrictive. Um, and that's kind of what you get. You know, pockets kind of restrict you, but they also enable you to organize and compartmentalize things, right? With no compartments and no organization, you don't quite get the ability to stow things away easier, but you get the flexibility of being able to mop, um, the flexibility of being able to use your own accessories, such as pouches, which is what I do. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk materials, right? So with the Axiom 24, what you're gonna be getting is a VX21 shell and a VX4, I believe it is, lining. So that's gonna be like an X-Pack type of material where it's going to be extremely abrasion resistant, tear resistant, and water resistant. For the GR1, what you're getting, for most versions, the one that I have is going to be 1000 D Cordura. So the denier, I believe, is just how tightly woven together the fabric is. Um, 1000D Cordura is insane. I feel like most bags are 500D Cordura, um, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it's gonna be extremely durable, and because it's more tightly woven together, it's gonna give you better water resistance, not as good as the VX21 in my opinion, um, but it's also very abrasive against clothes. I haven't experienced that myself, but a lot of people when they're wearing like delicate fabrics like merino wool or really 
anything, the uh, cordura can kind of cause the their clothes to kind of pill up. So I haven't re um, encountered that issue, but a lot of other people have. I just want to make you aware of that. For hardware, you're getting both um, YKK zips. I believe that there is another type of zipper that the um, that the Axiom 24 also uses, but they, they use two zippers. One of them is YKK, the other one I'm not quite sure. Let me check real quick. So I think it's it's YKK and it's also like Uratech or it's Uratech, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yes, but on the GoRec you have YKK zips as well. Um, I will say on the zipper pulls, both of them have decent zipper pulls, but I actually prefer the um, the GoRec zipper pulls where they have kind of just like this paracord with this shrink wrap. I like that better. So we've also mentioned it earlier, but for organization, you're obviously going to get a lot more organization on the um, on the Triple Lot Design Axiom 24. You've got this whole admin compartment. And then you've also got more pockets such as like this quick access compartment on the bottom or like this inverted pocket i mean you've also got the quick access compartment you've got the water bottle pockets on the side so you're obviously going to get a lot more organization on the axiom 24 and if that's what you're into then that's going to be a huge win for you i can't quite speak on the lining of the gr1 because i don't really think it has lining it just seems like it's just um like cordura all the way which is fine it adds more simplicity to the bag and uh, reduces on weight stuff like that um one thing which isn't quite a problem because these are both clamshell um but it's the the goruk is going to have, be black on the inside so it's going to be a little hard to see if you're in the dark or whatever for me i haven't had a problem with this because i kind of open it all the way because it's clamshell anyways um so i haven't had too much of an issue with that um, with the Axiom 24, it's actually a little bit better because on this version in particular, it's going to have like this, um, is this a tan? I can't tell if it's a tan or like a light gray, but it's going to have like this um, tan or light gray interior, which makes it easier to see inside. Um, but the lining on this is VX4. Um, it's like a stronger lining than some bags use on, their, on the outer fabric. So... I have no worries about the um, the lining on the Axiom 24 failing anytime soon. One thing that I just thought of, and I don't really think it's too important to mention, but it might be for you, is that you also have Molly webbing attachment points on the GoRec GR1, um, and that can actually a big, be a big deal because for me, when I went traveling, I had attached my um, GR1 field pouch on the outside, and that saved a ton of space for me to stuff the inside with clothes and other things. So that's important to um, uh, to note because you can add your own organization or your own water bottle pockets because they're also on the side um, to the GR1. So I just wanted to make, that, make note of that. I hadn't left it in my notes, but I thought it might be important. So for the materials, I also want to mention what it's actually like, um, what it actually feels like because I feel like if you're gonna, if your hands are gonna be interacting with this on a daily basis, you're gonna kind of, kind of want to know what it feels like. I personally prefer the feeling of the 1000D Cordura on the um, on the GoRec GR1 just because it's a little bit more flexible and it's a little bit softer. While the VX21 fabric is more stiff and crinkly and a, it's kind of it's more coarse, but I mean the the um, Cordura is also coarse, but it has like a softness to it. So. I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking, but I do want to make it um, clear to you kind of what it feels like because that's going to be something that you're going to be interacting with. Um, so another thing is like, it's very, I don't know if you can hear that, it's very crinkly while the, um, the GR1 is a lot quieter. So if we're talking about quality and design, both of these are perfect. Um, the stitching is amazing. The thought process and like the, the pockets, other than the... Um, other than the front slant pocket on the GR1, I'll have to say like all of these are perfect. Even though I don't like the water bottle pockets on the Axiom 24, that's just my opinion. I still think that they're really well thought out um, and they're, they're great pockets, even though I personally don't like them. So both of these are fantastic bags from like a design and quality standpoint. The stitching is on point, everything is good. The features on the Axiom 24 are very well thought out and they don't get in the way if you don't use them. For example, the two laptop compartments. The fact that you have two laptop compartments is pretty awesome if you prefer having your laptop on a certain side, but when you're not using the other compartment, which you shouldn't be because it would take up too much space, 
um, it's it's totally fine. Um, and then another thing is this inverted pocket right here. Again, doesn't get in the way if you don't want to use it, which I personally have never used it. Um, so a lot of cool thought out features on the Axiom 24. Um, and then the cool thing about the GR1 that I like is that there aren't really many features. And I know that sounds silly, but it's so simple. Um, it gets out of your way and it allows me to kind of use it how I want to use it. So I kind of like the GR1 because the real, the really the main features are, are going to be that Molly webbing. I guess you've also got like the laptop compartment and stuff like that. But my point is the GR1 is a very simple bag, which some people might look at that and be like, why is it $325 then? And to that I say, I don't quite know. <laughs> Um, but I mean, value and stuff like that is relative. And if you don't want to spend $325 on a bag, then you don't have to. I'm not here to tell you to spend money on that. Um, but um, I will say that I really like the simplicity of the GR1. So uh, Triple Out Design Axiom 24, very well thought out. Design is great. Cool features. Even if you don't use them, they're not going to get in the way. GR1 21 liter, super simple. There aren't any features to get in the way. Or, there aren't many features to get in the way um, and super modular. I really like it. So ergonomics on both of these bags are amazing. They're super good. Um, my only complaint is that with the Axiom 24, if you overstuff the inside of the bag and you put your laptop compartment in the back or your laptop in the back compartment, um, it's going to kind of bulge against your back and it's not going to feel as great. But if you don't overpack it, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so. I love the load adjustment. I love the load adjustment straps on the Axiom 24, as you can see right here. Um, they're super easy and convenient to use. They're very adjustable, like the straps are very adjustable. Um, yeah, the Axiom 24, super comfortable. The GR1 is just amazing. It's perfectly comfortable. I've had no issues with the laptop compartment bulging against my back. Straps are super stiff and sturdy. Um, and I personally, I love it. Like. I, I don't really have any complaints about the ergonomics of the GR1, and I love how slim it feels to my back. It, it has a nice curvature as well. And um, I think both of these have some frame sheets. Yeah, both of these have like frame sheets, so they keep their shape and their form very well. Um, and they feel kind of like supported against your back. So both of these very good from an ergonomic perspective. I actually went hiking with this bag. Um, I went to um, South Carolina um and this bag i <laughs> i walked multiple multiple miles down a mountain <laughs> with this bag um and it performed great so the uh axiom 24 is awesome from an ergonomic standpoint and so is the gr1 so when we're talking about looks i'll have to say i like the silhouette of the gr1 better but i like the aesthetic of the axiom 21 better so I hope that makes sense. I like the silhouette and the shape of the 24, or the silhouette and the shape of the Axiom, or the, ah, I'm so sorry, guys. I like the silhouette and the shape of the GR1 21 liter, and I like the aesthetic and the look of the Axiom 24. So both of them have things going for them, but um, if I had to choose which one I like the looks of most, oh, that's, that's actually really hard. Mm. That's, that's actually really hard. <laughs> I'm going to say the GR1 for now um, because it just looks super slim and sleek in my opinion. All right. I know it's been a super long video. So thoughts. What do I think about these bags? So in conclusion, the GR1 21 liter is super versatile. It's going to be able to adapt to a lot more things. If you want to use this for minimal travel like I did, if you want to take this on a hike or backpacking or whatever, if you want to use it in the office like I do, the GR121 liter, amazing. The problem is with organization if that's an issue for you. For me, as you can see, I have a lot of pouches and stuff like that where I don't really care about having organization on the inside of my bag because I like to make the organization myself. Um, but what the GR1 has going for it is simplicity, flexibility, and durability. The Triple Out Design Axiom 24. This bag is great for the organization if you need amazing water resistance, because one thing I didn't mention is that this also has AquaGuard water sealed zippers. So if you're looking for amazing water resistance, if you're looking for a ton of tear and abrasion resistance and stuff like that, if you're looking for your organization, 
Um, I think that the Axiom 24 is going to be better for you. But the main question that I want to answer, if there was one bag that you could get, if you had to choose between these two, which one would I recommend? And to that, I have to say I recommend the GR1. So the reason why is because the GR1 can excel at so many things, while I feel like the, the um, Axiom 24 can only do, um, it can only do so much before it gets kind of tight and cramped on the inside. So if I'm only recommending one bag, if you can only buy one of these, I think it makes more sense because the GR1 is more versatile and it's also like, what, 25? It's like, like 30 or $40 cheaper. Um, I'm bad at math, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if I had to recommend one, it would easily be the GR1 just because it's, it's more versatile. Again, that's nothing against the Axiom 24. It's a fantastic bag, but if I had to choose between both of them and I could only have one, it's got to go to the GR1. It's just my opinion. Anyways, guys, I know this was a long video. Um, there weren't many cuts, so this is probably going to be like probably gonna be like a 20 minute something video super sorry about that <laughs> but either way i hope you enjoyed um if you guys want to see more of me you can follow me on instagram at mara ghost i'll leave that link down below in the description but that is all that i have for you guys today i have been mara ghost and i'll haunt you tomorrow Bye bye here we go